The 1176 limiting amplifier goes as far back as Universal Audio. This was designed by Bill Putnam and represented a major breakthrough in limiter technology. The 1176 was the first true peak limiter to feature an all transistor circuit and a very fast FET gain reduction, lending its character and punch to some of the greatest recordings in history. Featured along with the LA2A, the 1176 plugin was introduced by Universal Audio in 2001. And now, Universal Audio engineers have circled back to the 1176, modeling its transformers, FET, and transistor amplifiers, resulting in three distinct 1176 units, the REV-A, REV-E, and AE, which is the anniversary edition, as well as the legacy 1176LN and SE versions for lower DSP usage. By raising the input, you're setting the compression threshold and you're increasing the signal into the 1176. The output sets the final signal level, allowing you to adjust the overall volume after compression. Both the attack and release settings are variable and offers a fast attack and fast release, which gives it to its signature sound. The four ratio buttons determine the degree of compression. Lower ratios like four to one and eight to one are used for compression and higher ratios like 12 to one and 20 to one are used for limiting. You can use the 1176 as a coloration or distortion box by disengaging the ratio buttons. And you can also enable the all buttons mode, which presses in all the ratios to give a very unique sound. So with the 1176 limiter collection, you get the Rev A, which is known as a blue stripe. This model represents the original Putnam FET limiter design, complete with a higher distortion and unique FET gain amplifier characteristics. Use the blue stripe model if you want to color your sound and introduce a little bit of saturation or harmonic distortion, alongside with the compression. The REV-E was developed in the early 1970s and is also known as the black face. This is also known as the 1176LN, which stands for low noise. This model includes a more linear compression response and became the staple in studios around the world. Third in line, you have the 1176AE, which stands for anniversary edition, and this is the only 1176 that offers a lower 2 to 1 compression ratio and fixed super slow 10 millisecond attack mode. The original 1176LN Legacy and SE Legacy versions are also included in this bundle. And these versions give you that classic compression sound without the transformer and distortion characteristics. So in the next video, let's hear some examples and listen to what this is all about.